On May 26th, the U.S. Supreme Court upheld as constitutional the Legal Arizona Workers Act, a law which required all employers in Arizona to use a federal electronic database, the E-Verify system, on new hires to ensure that they are U.S. citizens or legal residents. This decision by the U.S. Supreme Court gives hope to New Jersey's jobless and New Jersey's taxpayers. Almost 9% of New Jersey jobs are held by illegal immigrants, according to the Pew Hispanic Center. Why? Greedy employers hire illegal immigrants instead of citizens so that they can pay lower wages and offer no benefits. While these exploitive practices are going on, working Americans are without jobs due to unfair competition from illegal immigrants. To rectify this situation in Arizona, the, Ari the Legal Arizona Workers Act allows the state to strip employers of their business license upon the second violation of the law which bar bars hiring illegal immigrants. There is no excuse for New Jersey to look the other way while illegal immigrants are taking jobs away from U.S. citizens in our current situation of high unemployment. It is estimated that over 400,000 New Jersey citizens, or 9.3% of the population, are unemployed. At the same time, the Pew Hispanic Center estimates that there are 550,000 illegal immigrants in New Jersey competing with our own citizens for what jobs are available. Sadly, illegal immigration has an, has an effect at various levels of the socioeconomic ladder and often hurts those who could be working at jobs in landscaping, restaurants, and other industries. Illegal immigration is a critical issue for both our state and nation, and the system must be reformed. The Feder Federation of American Immigration Reform, or FAIR, as Dr. Kesselman mentioned, estimates that illegal immigration costs our state taxpayers $2.1 billion annually. New Jersey continues to be a sanctuary state for illegals because they know that they can come to the state and receive many free benefits, and certain unscrupulous employers freely break immigration and labor law in hiring the undocumented. The benefits may be free for those receiving them, but not for the, for the rest of the public, because, as you know, these costs are borne by the taxpayers. This is the statement from A189. The bill, the New Jersey Jobs Protection Act, requires that all employers use the federal e-verify system to check the employment eligibility of each new hire within 90 days of the date of hire. The bill establishes a graduated penalty system against any employer who knowingly employs illegal aliens. The penalty for the first offense will be a $10,000 fine for each illegal alien and three years of monitored probation. During the probationary period, the employer is required to file quarterly reports with the county prosecutor. The reports must include but shall not be limited to documentation of the E-Verify confirmation of each new employee who is hired by the employer at the location where the illegal alien performed work. The penalty for a second offense will be a $20,000 fine for each, each illegal alien and an additional five years of monitored probation. The penalty for a third offense will be $30,000 fine for each illegal alien. Under the bill, proof that the employee's eligibility to work was confirmed through the E-Verify program creates a rebuttal presumption that the employer did not intentionally or knowingly employ an illegal alien. E-Verify is the internet-based system operated jointly by the Department of Hum Homeland Security and the Social Security Administration. It provides an automated link to federal databases to help employers determine employment eligibility of new hires and the validity of their Social Security numbers. And all we're saying is, if you want to hire folks, and, and in particular, if you're using taxpayer dollars, and, and we're paying with taxpayers' money prevailing wage, then a legal resident of the United States should be receiving those wages. And we know some of the tricks they play. I think all of you do. You know, the contractor writes out a check, he, he, forges, he, he forges the records, and then pays the individual cash and, and, and takes the check back. So they're getting around all of the laws. Uh, the database will prevent that. The heavy fines, we believe, will prevent that. And so when we talk to the folks on the other side of the aisle and we ask them to co-sponsor, we're going to say, if you really want to help people, we need to create jobs. And this is one way to do it.